These scientists have set out in search of the elusive Antichinus marsupial. Another bushy. After checking 60 traps, they're in luck. Yeah, we got one. This female is one of several new species researchers have recently discovered and started tracking across southeast Queensland. Okay, so we've got 45 grams with the bag. There were 10 species in the genus Antichinus throughout Australia and in the last three years we've uh, found evidence of five new species. But today there's no chance of catching a male Antichinus because they've all just killed themselves after a once in a lifetime mating rampage. Because there's half the population now, all the males are dead. Previously, scientists thought the bizarre behaviour was the males being altruistic and leaving more food for their offspring. But the new research shows they're actually doing it to promote their own genes over their competitors, trying so hard to reproduce their body shuts down. There's this huge intense mating season going on for about two weeks and then they, they have an escalation of stress hormones which causes their body tissues to disintegrate and they bleed internally and then um, they all drop dead. The promiscuous mating means this mother's eight babies probably belong to at least four different fathers. The male offspring will mature at around 11 months and die a fortnight later after their own mating frenzy. Their fur falls off, they, they get look very sick and, and uh, stagger around. Sometimes they get gangrene if infections because their immune system stops working. Despite their suicidal sex tendencies, the species is still going strong, but researchers are hoping to list some types of antichinus as vulnerable to ensure their habitat is protected. Generally these animals need treed habitat um, and we've impacted, uh, we, we've got a long history of land clearing in this country, which is only gets worse with more pressure. A critter that could do with all the help it can get to save it from itself. Elise Worthington, ABC News, Brisbane.